What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sephora. And today I'm going to show you guys a pretty insane team against one of the neural simulations here in Dispatch, which is good old Bison right here. Now, you guys can see the team that I actually was doing this with, but the run that I'm going to show you guys, I actually wasn't using life. It's just that both of the clears I did were the same amount of points, but one clear I did faster than the other because I switched out life for another particular character. And who that character was, well, it was Acacia, this version of Acacia. Now that boss is actually weak to stun and slow motion effects. And the beautiful thing about a character like Acacia, a four star character, is that whenever you do her support passive, that's exactly what she does. She slows the target for five seconds. So this is really, really massive against that boss and particular other bosses that you will be able to do more damage throughout the fight. Not to mention when you apply slow motion effect to the boss that they're just kind of stagnant. You just start piling on your ammunition over and over and over. And actually this effect is really OP in multiple game modes because what it's going to do is it's going to one, allow you to do more damage to the opponent because they're in slow motion. They're kind of standing still. It's a lot easier to aim your weapon at them. And also it increases the survivability of the characters that you're using because again, the, the opponent is kind of stagnant. So you can kind of get away run around if you're in danger which is really really good this is an op effect and because of this boss that we're going to do today and other bosses that are actually in the neuro simulation i do think that acacia is worth leveling up she's actually a really really op character for that thing because of her support when it comes to her uh build guys she does have a five star kinetic damage weapon she's a chaos damage dealing character it, it, it really doesn't matter all that much in all honesty guys because we're mainly just going to use her for her support we're not really using her for damage these are logistics i don't even have that great a logistics honor and all honesty guys like we're just increasing max hp her manifestation is right there and her neurotics is just uh right here right it's nothing Nothing really too special, but I hate it whenever you click out of there and you go out of there. But then we're also going to show off good old Finny. Now, this is the free Finny that everybody gets when they start off in the game. This is something that's pretty cool about this run is that this girl is actually insane for it because bison the boss has a shield and the thing that does the most damage to shields is ballistic damage. Well, the recommended set for Finny, funny enough, is a set that increases ballistic damage in the Dharma set. Or you have the more free-to-play set, I guess you'd call it, that also increases ballistic damage, right? And this is a big bonus against shields. You're going to do a lot more damage with that ballistic damage. And the shotgun, especially at close range, just does a bunch of damage anyway. So Finny is really, really amazing for this game mode, guys. She just has a four-star weapon on her. It does kinetic damage, and I am running the Dharma set that is increasing her standard ballistic damage by 46%. This is very, very sweet, guys. Really, really good for us. I'm not really doing a review about any of these characters. I'm just kind of going over some of the guidelines about them and showing why they're so good in this game mode. Her Neuronics is, you know, leveled up, you know, three times. But if you level us up further, guys, she's going to do even more damage. She's going to have more ammunition after she does her ultimates. I mean, there's a lot of goodies when it comes to Finny, man. She's really a, a terrific character, guys. Honestly, Finny and Life, you know, considering that they're free characters that everybody got when they started off in this game, are really, really amazing for this. And then we're going to highlight Fridia. Now, Fridia is a character I think that's going to get overlooked by a lot of players, but something that's amazing about this character and only unique to herself, at least as far as I can tell, you guys can correct me down in the comments down below, is that she is the only character that has a built-in stun. I can't really show it here, guys. Well, actually, I can't. Wait a minute. If we go into the strongest chain here, right, this is her standard skill. Look at this thing, guys. Whenever you level up a certain neuronic it actually applies a stun for three seconds. Now, I believe, like I said earlier, that this is the only character that has a stun, but I could be wrong. I might have missed something when I looked over all these characters. But this is something that's very, very amazing about Fridia because she can actually stun that boss and many others in the game. She literally hits them with this thing, knocks them down, and you can do a bunch of damage. What you're going to see me doing, guys, is I'll use this stun, and then I'm going to go straight into her ulti and just start barreling down a bunch of damage. And if I had her ulti level up even more, if I had this thing level up even more, 
I would get this increase to her ulti by 20%. This would make a big, big difference in her damage whenever I'm doing that damn thing. It is OP as hell, but you got to be careful with it because it is not in an iframe. She does have decreased damage received when she's getting hit, but she can only take so many hits from that boss. So you need to be very, very careful. Now, and I'm using a four-star weapon. I'm not even using her five-star weapon. And if I had a five-star weapon on her, it'd be actually, you know, a lot better. We do more damage, whether it was thermal or any other type. But if I had a thermal five-star weapon, it would be so much more potent. We'd get better buffs. This thing's only giving her, uh, you know, extra attack by 13.2% uh, for 15 seconds. And then the logistics that we're running on, none, by the way, guys, just pay attention to that these are level 51 characters, right? We're going to go against a level 60 boss. And these logistics are specifically designed for her, the Fenway squad that increases your ultimate skill damage, which is OP for her ultimate by 46%. And well, I'm sorry, it increases her damage after she does her ultimate by 46% for 10 seconds and come to think of it in the run that i did i actually wasn't even really taking advantage of this because i would switch out to finney after i use her so i think i might try this run later on and see if i do actually a little bit better if i just keep uh fridia in there after i do her ultimate because you will get this extra 46 percent damage with these logistics equipped on her for 10 seconds whenever you're using her submachine gun and, I, and again that wasn't something that i was taking advantage of so let's jump on over and dispatch guys and i'll show you exactly how my settings were set up for this now you guys can see that i got 3105 right it's almost the max and you see life here but i actually switch out life for Acacia because in all honesty guys you're gonna see a little time difference between when I use life and between when I use Acacia and the settings that we had here I had all the HP off the boss completely off because I mean this is a level 60 boss we're using level 51 characters and the decrease of attack of all full squad I have off as well so that way we could do more attack to this boss so let's bring up the run guys let's watch this and check this out all right and uh yeah it's it, this is op team guys i'm not gonna say it's the best team i don't really know because i haven't tested every single character in the game but i can tell you these guys perform super well you see me throw out her standard skill right we stun and then look what we're doing we're going straight into our ulti and there i think there's other logistics that i could have equipped to acacia in fact i know there are that would have been even better so i might do another run later on uh and see if i can do a little bit more damage uh, play for you a little bit more proper to where I use her uh, weapon after the ultimate because again, again you guys can see in this run that I'm going to switch between Finny right after I do Fridia's ultimate but there is some logistics that actually increase your U energy and that would actually help do your ultimates more often and I think I should have had that equipped to Acacia again I'll probably uh, take a look at that later on but yeah I mean and this is what it is guys you're just running around, running around, trying to do as many headshots as possible, trying to avoid all these attacks, right? And, you know, and if my Finny was leveled up, if her neurotics were leveled up even more, we would have, you know, she would do a constant reload after the ultimate, right? We'd have more weapons. I'm just barreling down those headshots right there. And that's really where you want to aim when it comes to this boss is always go for the head. Go for the head, go for the head, go for the head, go for the head. But you guys can check out the damage that we're doing. There's that slow motion effect taking effect. And that is so sweet, guys. And then you see that I applied, I'm applying the stun. I throw out her standard skill and I go straight into her ultimate, right? And if uh, Bison decides to do an attack, you might have to jump out of it, get out of it, dodge out of it, just to make sure that Fridia doesn't die. But man, Fridia really is awesome, guys. Like all three of these girls are so good for this boss. They are so so strong against him man and you know and again i do believe that i could set up uh my occasion with some different logistics that would actually increase the u energy so we could do our ultimates more often that really would make a big difference because fridia's ultimate does a lot of damage if i had the neuronics leveled up we would do even more damage oh yeah get him girl get him girl plow it on destroy and you really want to be up close with finny you don't want to be very far away because she, she really is an in-your-face character with that shotgun. You're going to do way more damage if you get up close to the opponent and just start plowing them, right? 
I'm still trying to get used to switching my characters, guys. But while that slow motion effect is in effect, you really want to be using your weapons or your ultimates because you're going to do a lot more damage. The boss is in a weakened state, at least this particular boss is in a weakened state whenever the slow motion effect is applied or whenever the stun is applied, right? That's why whenever I do the stun, I throw out her standard skill from Fridia and I go straight to the ultimate because I want to get as much of the ultimate during that three second stun as I can. But the slow motion actually lasts for five seconds. It's even, it's even better in my opinion. But they're both amazing, and having both of these effects in this particular run against Bison, because he's weak to both of them, really will help you do a lot better against this, guys. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not saying this is the best team. I don't really know. I haven't tested every single team in the game, but I've tested quite a few uh, characters in here. And for this particular boss, this seems like a super, super strong team that you can get it done with, right? And maybe you don't have Freedia, but if you don't have Freedia, you can still use Finny and you can still use Acacia if you have her, right? You can still use those characters, still get that slow motion from Acacia, and just use whatever damage dealer that you have. Oh, loving it, man. Loving it, loving it. Just in your face. And by the way, the skin for Finny is gorgeous. I love it. She looks amazing, that thing. It's pretty funny watching her run around wearing something like that, uh, you know, shooting up her enemies. It's pretty wild. And by the way, guys, I use her standard skill quite often so I can get up close and personal also with Bison. So she'll do a lot more damage. I mean, she she puts that shotgun right in his jaw and just starts plowing it on. And then you see, again, I threw out the standard skill for Fridia, go straight in her ultimate. Right, so we can plow on a bunch, a bunch of damage. You can see the damage that Free is doing. Again, this is a level 51 team against a level 60 boss. And yes, I turned the HP all the way off and I turned off the decreased attack from our full squad against this guy. So we could do more damage. And I probably could, I probably could, you know, get a few more points out of this. But uh, still, to get over 3,100 points in here uh, with my level 50 team against a level 60 boss, I think it's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. And we're about to lay the final blow. We just did. Boom. Done, 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 done. Oh, yeah. And check this out, guys. So look at this. So you see that, you know, we got 3105 with both these teams. But you see that I had life over there where it took me 4 minutes and 45 seconds. And if I remove my ugly mug, you can see it took 4 minutes and 21 seconds whenever I had Acacia on the team and that is the difference you know having a slow motion effect makes right having stun and slow motion against this boss is op as hell guys it's very very powerful against bison we'll talk about this boss in another video because you're going to find that acacia once again is really really awesome for this and acacia is not the only slow motion effect by the way guys you could also use cherno cherno also has a slow motion effect but i find it really wonky to use uh because whenever you use her qte you, you're gonna go into her character and you're gonna move that character around you literally want to run through your opponents and apply a slow motion effect and you can do that if you absolutely want to but again i find that she's a bit wonky to play with but if you're a pretty skilled player and you're good at switching your characters and then operating the next character that you switch into and move them around into another uh, opponent so you can apply a slow motion effect Cherno is also a really good option for you if you don't have Acacia. So guys, let me know what teams you're using against Bison, and I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to do plus seven time. The link is in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See everybody, take care.